this tool that you see right here can bypass the lower version of samsung to at least android version 13 and that makes the tool very useful you understand so that's the main reason why i'm sharing this video to you guys so that you can use this tool to bypass frps okay so i'm going to go deep into this video right now and show you how to use this tool because you can see everything right here but i tell you what it's not as easy as you see all these options right here i will show you how to use this tool then at the end of the video i will show you how to get the tool you understand getting the tool is not a big deal but using the tool is a big deal that is why you need to stay tuned and focus on what i'm going to explain right here so that when you hold the tool you will know the devices that you can unlock and you will know how to unlock any samsung frp okay so when you open the tool you will have these options right here you can see bypass frp via mtp so i'm going to explain all these options right here then explain to you how you can use them you understand so this mtp mode is the normal standard mode in which your phone is always in like when you normally switch on your phone when it comes to the boot screen the phone is in mtp mode so this mtp mode is when the usb debugging is not enabled you understand so with this mode right here in older samsung when you just switch on the phone then when it's talked in the in the frp bypass option that is mtp mode when you just connect the phone to your pc then click on right here then everything will be okay to go you understand you will just detect the phone in mtp mode then bypass the phone so like i said this mostly works in older devices you understand so but you can just try it in any device that you have you might get locked okay so this is the big deal right here okay so you see this direct frp unlock right here so how can you do unlock using these options right here because these three options works together when you are bypassing this newer version of samsung so for you to bypass any samsung using this option right here i'm explaining this in a very detailed way because i i don't have any phone right here to show you but if you have been watching in my videos and you easily understand how i explain you will easily pick up from how i'm explaining in these videos i don't mostly have phones to do because i'm doing different things and i don't mostly have phones to unlock but a lot of people have been picking up from how i'm explaining everything right here okay so this option right here for you to use this option and easily bypass even newer versions of samsung phones all you have to do is that you are just going to switch on the samsung phone just switch on the samsung phone make sure that you connect it to an internet connection you understand so when you connect it like i said when the phone normally switch on it will be in mtp mode which means that debugging mode is not enabled so what this option will do is that it will grant you access to enable debugging mode in the phone you understand so how are you going to do this just switch on the phone like i said make sure that the phone is connected to an internet connection and what you are going to do is that you are just going to simply click on direct frp unlock right here you understand so when you click on that it will search for the device so when it sees the device then it will ask you to dial this code right here so it will ask you to dial this code just going to type in this code that you are seeing right here using the emergency option that you see in the screen when you switch on the phone there are some devices that won't give you this emergency option and if it doesn't give then know that this tool won't work for that so when it asks you to dial that emergency number right here just dial that code and it will get you into a, a certain menu right here you understand so when it gets into that menu you will see that the process will complete you understand so when everything is complete in that option the next thing that you are going to do is that you are just going to leave the phone like that don't touch anything that you see in the screen of that phone you understand and the next thing that you are going to do you are going to come right here to direct adb enable so what this option does right here is that it just gives you it just grant access for this other option to enable adb which is the debugging mode you understand so when the first option is done right here you skip to this other option right here then you click on direct adb enable you understand so when you click on it then you will see that it's asking you to dial this code right here to dial this code and you don't have to worry about the code because you already did it 
in this first option right here so what you are going to do is that you are just going to click on ok and you will wait for the adb enable to complete so at times it might sh keep showing fail fail just wait for it even though it's showing fail when it's trying to enable it might keep showing fail a couple of times but just keep just leave it like that and wait for it to complete you understand so once the adb mode is enabled then the next option that you are going to do which is the final option you are just going to come right here to reset frp adb and this is very simple so once you're done with that you just come to reset frp adb so when you click on reset frp adb right here then everything will be okay then it will load everything read the phone information then bypass the frp and you'll be good to go okay so the big deal right now is how you can get this tool i'm going to show you how you can get this tool right here okay so for you to get this tool you are going to go to the link in this video description just go click on the link in this video description and you will get to this page right here so when you get to this page right here then you are going to scroll down you see how to use android service tool that's the name of the tool right so if you don't have samsung drivers installed on your pc then make sure that you download it using this link right here you understand if you don't have samsung drivers installed on your pc then make sure that you download it right here if not when you connect a samsung phone to the tool the tone won't detect the phone so once you download it if you don't need it then just forget about it so if you don't need it or once you have downloaded it, just scroll down right here to free download android service tool you understand so you come right here to direct link what you're going to do is that you're going to click on it and you will have this page right here so when you are in this page you are just going to copy this link right here take a look at what i'm copying right here because if you copy it in a different way it won't open start right here then just right click it and open new tab will go to the page you understand 